Hey, this is Fiber Hill Michelle. How you doing? You know, sometimes you have to look at the funny side of things. Um, I guess fibromyalgia people were not well known because, you know, we don't do those walks. You know, the walk for AIDS or the walk for breast cancer. We don't do the walks because, hell, I can't remember the last time I got around the block. Walk around the block. I'm just joking. Anyway, people think of us as people that don't want to work or we want to use the government, you know, to uh, get disability checks. And we just want to take painkillers. It's so funny when people say that because, you know, I see a lot of people that want to take painkillers, and that's not us. I mean, I don't get high from a painkiller. My brain's not making something that I need, and so I'm in pain. So when I take a painkiller, it helps a little, not a lot. But, um, you know, I'm not a lazy person. I'm 43 years old now. When I was, uh, I don't even remember those times, but in Utah, I came from a small Mormon town. And I was the first girl on the Little League team and took a lot of heat for it. My parents got divorced, and I took a lot of heat for it in that small Mormon town. And um, when we moved up to Utah, and my mother spent, you know, her divorce money on weed, and we went to the prison to visit her boyfriend. Uh, a lot of things happened. Anyway, I always came out on top. I always got what I wanted. I always became who I wanted to be, you know. Um, in Utah, I was the best uh, horse person I could be. Uh, when I went to school in uh, Utah, I was the top in dramatic interpretation. If you guys want to check it out, you can. Cottonwood High School. Um, then, I've always wanted to be a singer, always. I got a picture I can show you. It's real cute. It's on my Facebook page. You can look it up, Michelle Sertonio. But I always wanted to be a singer, and I always tried and always did everything. But I, you know, fell into some luck in Key West and did a couple of CDs with someone. And uh, anyway, I've always become what I wanted to be. And I guess now the next thing, I have started painting, which I had no idea I could do. But... You know, we have fiber, you don't leave the house much, especially if you're in South Florida and the weather is killing you. But um, I started painting. You can see those on Facebook also if you'd like to. But my next thing is going to be stand-up comedian. I know this isn't like a, a good audition or anything, but I will work on it, trust me. But anything I've ever wanted to do, I've accomplished, and that's the point. I never wanted to be disabled. I've always lived life to the fullest. In my 43 years, I've gotten a lot of life. You know, I see people and people always say, well, you got to respect your elders. Well, why? What did they do? Why are they judging me? You know, what have they done for people or humanity or what have they contributed? I know what I've contributed and what I do and where I've been and how I've treated people. And I've made mistakes like anyone else. But I've done a lot of living. And I've gotten a lot of insight from a lot of different places and worlds because I didn't just stay in one place. And that's the hardest thing for me now is not being able to go anywhere. I used to just jump in my van or my motorcycle, my Harley Davidson, just go. I would just go and just do whatever I felt like doing. And now that's not an option. That's probably the worst part about this. But anyway, this video is just to tell people we don't want to be here. We don't want to be sick. We don't want government money. But, you know, we have to take it sometimes because do you know what medication costs? Instead of, like, looking down on us, why don't you do something about the pharmaceutical companies? Hey, Lyrica, you suck. Hey, Cymbalta, you suck. Hey, pain patches that are $800 a month, you suck. You suck. Okay? Don't come down on the people that need something and to control their pain. Come down on the people that are charging too much for it and then denying you once you start feeling okay. Like the insurance companies, like Fox. And I won't mention my new one because hopefully they'll start doing the right thing. But write back to me. Tell me your experiences because then, you know what? I'll forward our experiences on to everyone else. Tell me if you've had problems with the law. Tell me if you had problems with your insurance companies. Tell me about your dick doctor's experiences. We'll put it together and we'll get something out of it. I promise you on the days I can get up. Anyway. This is Fiber Home Michelle. I, I love you guys. Thank you for writing to me. I, you know, some days I get up and I'm like, what the hell am I still getting up for? I, I, I don't want to. And then I open up my emails and I see the comments from you guys. And I, 
and I read the, what you wrote to me, and some of you break my heart with your stories, and you make me want to go on so I can help you. And that's what we need to do. We need to help each other. Fiber Hell Michelle. Thanks. Bye-bye.